back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker and Chaz Price. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. The website, ARHQ.com. If you missed the first half of the show, want to catch up or just catch up on previous editions of the show, available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you consume your media. All there for you on demand. Just look for America's Retirement Headquarters. We talk a lot on this show about the power of annuities when it comes to providing safety and income in retirement. But the question is, when is a good time to get one? We had a chance to ask our annuity advocate, Cheryl Moore, at winkintel.com. I think you should be considering annuities at the very least when you're in your 50s, just because the whole point of purchasing the annuity is to save money until you're ready to retire and then begin taking payments out once you are retirement age. Well, let's say I'm 55 years old and I want to retire when I'm 65. Why wouldn't I buy a 10-year annuity and then save for retirement over that whole 10 years, defer my taxes, and at the end of the 10-year period, turn my lifetime income payments on and be guaranteed that paycheck every month till the day I die. Of course, we also say on the show that that annuities aren't necessarily right for everybody out there. When you help clients develop a plan, how do you help them know if they actually need an annuity or not? Well, I think it really comes down, Chris, like what you talked about there. It comes down to, you know, what is in your unique situation that you're trying to accomplish? Annuities have been used for, you know, hundreds of years. uh, And the goal is to provide, you know, predictable income for either somebody's lifetime or for a set period of time. And so you you have to use the right tool to accomplish what you want to get done. There's really no Swiss army knife of financial products, meaning that there's not one right product for everything. So, you know, there's some people in this industry that talk about how you should have all of your money in the stock market. Uh, There's other groups of people that say you should have all of your money in safe annuities, you know. Uh, there's other people that say you should have all of your money in precious metals. You know, there's a value to using the right tool for what you want to accomplish. And let me take that a step further. I'll talk to you about uh, Matt and Heather. And, you know, when Matt and Heather really got together with us, it's to take a look at their overall retirement picture. Uh, you know, Heather's in her late 40s. Matt's in his early 50s. And they had this bucket of money from an old company retirement plan and wanted to know, you know, how should they invest that money for their future? And quite frankly, what we did is we followed the same philosophy that we've been talking about for decades, which is called the independent income system. And within the independent income system, what we like to do is have different buckets of money that are designed to do different things. We believe that it's important to have reliable income in retirement. You know, Chaz, you bring up the question, how much of your income do you want at risk in retirement? And the answer should be zero for the income that you need to cover your life's expenses, you want to have enough reliable income. And an annuity can be a vehicle that can provide reliable income in retirement time. So in Matt and Heather's situation, it made sense to take a portion of the money and put it in a vehicle that I could confidently tell them, you know, when they retired, let's say at the age of 60, how much income that vehicle will provide in retirement time. Where, in the other hand, the other chunk of money that we took, we put in a combination of uh, investments in the stock and bond market for more growth potential. Unfortunately, you know, I can make some projections on what I think that money will be worth in the future. But the reality is, is in the stock market, you can't guarantee what that outcome is going to be overall when you're invested, you know, into different stocks and bonds. Another example is we met with a client named Jane. Jane's getting ready to retire here in a couple of years. And she has quite a few different buckets of money. She had this old 401k. And, you know, with retirement just a few years away, what she was worried about was having all of her money exposed to the stock and bond market and subject to the lottery of the returns. In her situation, what we're able to do is take a portion of one of her accounts that she has and move it into an annuity. And in this case, the goal was to provide protection against loss of principal. The other goal that was to try to lock in high interest rates. She knew that she wasn't going to need that money in this case for five years. Her retirement plan was in five years. So we could pick a five-year investment that, you know, right now fixed rates on most of these products are decade level highs. She could put it in that account and not have that bucket of money subject to market losses. You know, so determining on when you need an annuity, it comes down to figuring out, again, what is the intention? What's the goal? What's the time frame? And what are we trying to accomplish? Yeah, I agree. I, I often ask that question in some of our seminar events. 
just to see where everybody's heads at with income and you know kind of uh, making the distinction between income and asset balances or your investments and generally if I ask um, what percentage of your income should be at risk most people think 20 to 30 because they're just in that mindset that their you know their market value of the or their investments fluctuates maybe 10 to 20 to 30 percent per year and so the majority of those clients are obviously then taking income from those investments and so it doesn't become a problem when the market's going up i mean obviously when the market's going up you can take income off of your investments and you're not subject to you know the the randomness the the sequ sequence of return risk which is if if i have to sell or i have to take money out of my investments when the market's down that's like a snowball effect mm -hmm. where it just kind of it's like the reverse of compounding interest where now i'm having to sell more of my shares uh to you know create the same amount of income and then the next month and so on and so forth and it'll really accelerate the capitulation of your balance so having a, i call it a floor to stand on social security being part of that floor and then a pension or an annuity if you don't have your pension or have a pension you can create your own and i think it's important also just to make the distinction that an annuity um, just in and of itself is kind of like saying cars there's variable there's fixed there's immediate annuities where the lump sum immediately turns into an income stream or there's deferred annuities where you put money in and you defer taking income from that uh, account for number of years 10 15 20 depends uh, so it is it is a very complex very useful financial vehicle don't automatically just be um, you know, against annuities because you've heard somebody say something negative about annuities. They could be saying something about a variable annuity, something that's completely different and for a completely different type of client versus one maybe that has had great experiences, especially in this volatile market that we've all experienced the last three or four years uh, in fixed annuities and other fixed index products where you can't lose money first and foremost. That's the primary name of the game, not to lose. And then we'll talk about how do we make interest and what the income goals are and, and things like that. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, having a nice floor of income just kind of depends on how much money do you, how much income do you want at risk? Not investment balance, but what's your income that you want at risk? And if it's zero, you definitely need to consider an annuity to shore up whatever is not guaranteed by Social Security or pension. Because in retirement, we're still going to have monthly expenditures. Perhaps, you know, your house is paid off and, and your car, things like that. But you still have utilities and groceries and things like that. You're going to have guaranteed bills. And so having guaranteed income come in to cover those can help, I think, address some of that worry that you may have from the market. Social Security provides that, uh, you know, a pension if you've got the luxury of that. An annuity can also, can also be part of that strategy. But to uh, go back to what we were saying earlier, not going to be right for everybody out there to to sit down and see how it could fit in. And as fiduciaries know that the team at America's Retirement Headquarters uh, aren't going to recommend anything they don't believe is going to work in your best interest. So keep that in mind and come with an open mind and, and have that conversation with them. 419-794-3030. That is the phone number. You can also schedule a time on the website, ARHQ.com.